I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle All the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I Hello beautiful creatives I have been trying to get myself up into my studio for Oh my gosh, has it been like a week? Um, yeah, because I maybe it's been two weeks because I actually filmed last week's video uh, of my art down in my art nest downstairs. So I um, have just been really, really struggling. On the bright side, uh, my appointment with the first specialist is coming up next week, next Monday. So I'm very hopeful. I appreciate your prayers for that. Very hopeful that I'm gonna see some improvement um, after I start treatment with her. And then the second mastocytosis mast cell specialist I see in January. So I'm getting close, you know, to having some, you know, some avenues, some treatment options that can help me improve. But I have really been tanking badly. I, I am so low energy and it makes me think how often you guys say to me, I just can't create, I just can't paint, I haven't painted in ages. And um, the struggle is real when, when you're not feeling well. I managed to push myself over the last week to do some paintings in my art nest. Um, just some gouache, using my Senex gouache, some loose paintings. It took every bit of energy I had, and it tended to be later at night. I tended to just, the fatigue was so much during the day that I couldn't get going. This one was a, a watercolor, M. Graham watercolor. Um, this was gouache. So I have been getting some work done. This one was, oh, this one I did when we took Don up to the hospital. He has to have a couple of surgeries done on uh, he has to have a surgery on each wrist and then a surgery on his elbow. So I did that while I was waiting for him in the car. So I have been doing some things, um, but also a lot of things that are important to me have been slipping away. And I'm looking at this. The last day that I did my gratitude journal was um, September 29th. So it's been a bit since I've done my gratitude journal and that's not good you know I I really want to keep that up as a daily practice so I'm going to do that now and then I came up here and I thought oh my god I just cannot do a regular still life painting or interior painting I'm not feeling it I'm I'm bummed out I'm bummed out that I've been feeling crappy for so long so I, I was looking at uh, Frida Kahlo's diary I did a video on this for you guys uh, before I'll try to put a link up um, but I was looking through some of these pages and boy if anybody knew how to really paint their pain it was Frida I mean look at some of these characters in here look at this green guy um so expressive her paintings you know just unbelievable so I have a little bit of paint left in my palette and it's been sitting for quite a while and I'm afraid it's gonna mold it you know honestly it may not even be good anymore this has been sitting in here for I think a couple of weeks and it feels like the sponge underneath it is dry yeah pretty pretty dry wow yeah it is so this paint may be rubberized already that's acrylic paint um I have a few of these uh, Paul Rubens paint tubes on my table and I have my little trolley cart right here. I actually have a whole bag of these little Paul Rubens paints. I could grab some of those. Yeah, I don't know. But I think I'm just gonna do an intuitive painting, maybe a couple of intuitive paintings. I did notice I had a palette cleanup page in here. Yeah, I had an old palette cleanup page that I never went back to. So maybe I'll try to do something with that. 
Maybe I'll just do some more palette cleanup pages. I don't know, but I'm here, I'm showing up. I do feel lousy. I mean, just to be honest, um, you know, the sicker I get, the worse my YouTube channel does and the more the algorithm just doesn't push the videos. I just don't have the energy to make glitzy, glammy videos like some of the other people are making. Um, I look back at some of my older videos and I feel kind of sad, but uh, it's just the reality of showing up with a chronic illness and, you know, when you're having a long flare, it affects things in your life. It affects your work and what you do and how other people see you and want or don't want to interact with you. So I guess what I'm getting to is I just decided to just show up today, gonna do some palette cleanup painting, intuitive painting, don't know how far I'll get. Really, that's not the point. The point is I want you guys to know that I'm hearing you and seeing you and um, when you are saying, I just can't paint, I just can't do it. I want you to know that that is exactly how I feel today. I just feel like I can't do it. And since I'm really pushing myself to show up, I just decided to film it. You know, I may regret this when I watch this back in editing. I'm sure I will. I usually do regret these really honest videos. But I think um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to really push hard to find my grateful things that I'm gratitude, grateful for and fill out that page. Then I'll flip the camera around and just paint and um, see what comes up. I probably won't even talk through it. I'll probably just paint and play music. But at least it's me showing up. You know, sometimes when I do this and I show up, I'm able to push on and the creative process actually builds my energy enough that I am actually able. And, and honestly, that's what happened with all of these paintings that I just showed you. I just showed up thinking I didn't have the energy to work. I mean, in this one too, this was just a couple of minutes of throwing watercolor on paper. Um, sometimes the energy comes and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it's just a hot mess. So that may be what it is today, but it doesn't matter. The outcome isn't what matters. And that's as much of a struggle for me to get in my head as it is for you guys. I'm constantly telling you, let go of results, let go of results. It's not about the results. It's about the experiential process of creating art. It's so true, scientifically proven. But lately I have been struggling with Instagram with friends um, that I followed for years and watching them, you know, go certain places with their art. And I just feel like I'm falling further and further behind. And I have struggle days where I probably should stay off of Instagram and not be looking at art and just, just be doing my own thing and being content with that, being happy that I'm able to do that. So I feel like I'm getting a little rambly for the beginning of a video, but, um, so I'll just flip the camera around and see what happens. So I think I'm going to start with this um, palette cleanup page that I did ages ago. This was probably done. Looking at the date of this, this was probably a page I did um, back in August and then just never did anything with it. Yeah, back in August, just uh, cleaning off whatever paint I had on my palette. So I am... I grabbed some of my markers, Posca markers. I also have some um, of these markers, the Montana and Liquitex. So I'm not sure. I'm just going to grab something that calls to me. And um, maybe I'll start with a blue. Kind of running out of room on my desk, but we'll see see what happens with this. I am using this spread of Frida Kahlo's uh, from her diary as inspiration, although I'm not sure if I'll actually stick to any of the imagery there, but just as a jumping off, I think it's nice to have a jumping off point um, when you're feeling really fatigued and trying to create. I am going to try to do this without my thumb brace on because I keep getting paint all over it, so we'll see. I may have to stop and put my brace on at some point. What I kind of like to do when I start is look and see if I see any shapes. And I almost see the shape of a like half a face here. I almost kind of see another ear over here. Um, this almost looks like a hand to me. 
And I may not stay with these. I, you know, I may wipe out some of these with more of them, with, for, with future layers. But right now I'm just sort of looking for shapes. I see some kind of figure here. I'm just, I don't know if you can see it on here, but there's very subtle, um, there's very subtle differences in the value of the paint. And I'm just sort of picking, picking up those differences and making marks with them. Oh, there's definitely a shape here. Let's see. It's funny because I can imagine that you guys are sitting there going, oh, I see this shape, I see that shape. I may, I may just finish this into a face and then maybe I'll, maybe I'll bring it down as a body. This shape almost looks like a critter with um, ears. Okay, so that palette was just too dried up. The uh, paint had just gotten too acrylic-y, you know, rubbery, and um, I wasn't able to use it. So I have to soak my palette sheet for 15 minutes. So I think all I'm doing that is I will just go for my markers and then uh, see what happens with that. It's funny when you just don't have a lot of energy. <laughs> Little things happen like that. It's kind of, it's easy to have it throw you and make you want to give up. 
But you gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Because it does get better, you know. If you stick with it and just keep showing up, it does somehow get better. The sun always rises. Oh my gosh, I don't know if the video picked that up, but I was sitting here in silence. I've been absolutely silent for the last while working on this spread. I got so immersed in it that there was just like no noise at all. And the most horrendous alarm just went off on my cell phone. Um, I mean, it's it was like the tornado alert. It was It's beautiful and clear out and then this alarm just went off so loud. I jumped out of my seat and I was, I was like, I totally panicked. 
and then I looked at my screen and it was all blocked off with this text that said, this is only a test. My phone has never done that before. I suppose if you live in like tornado country, maybe you'd be used to that kind of thing, but um, it just scared the bejeebers out of me, you guys. <laughs> oh my God, what a horrible thing to happen when you're so immersed in something so quiet and so um, just profoundly deep when you're working on a spread like this. But because uh, I wasn't thinking at all what I was doing, it was totally intuitive. I had completely entered the process of just putting down intuitive things. And uh, oh, wow, that scared me. It'll be interesting to see if it came out on the video or if it actually shut the video off because I was filming when it happened. But anyways, I just have a couple of more marks that I want to make here. And then I think I'm finished with this piece. Jeez. That's wild. My hand is shaking. I can't even make these marks. Golly, that scared me. Just out of the stillness, you know, so quiet to have that, uh, this poor guy seems like everybody's stepping on his back, so he's kind of not too happy. Wow, that was scary. Well, that'll get your adrenaline flowing. All right, I don't think there's too much more I want to do on this because I don't want to get too picky. Um, not happy with the way these markers are working on, uh, they're just sort of, I don't know, they're not laying down very nicely on this paper when you try to get more than one layer. Kind of behaving strange. I will say that I found this much more challenging to do um, in markers than I would have in paint, but it was a completely different experience, so I can't say that it was a bad experience. It just was different. I, it was a little frustrating at times trying to get the markers to behave in a way that I'm used to paints behaving. Because they just, the more, it seems like the more layers you got, the more they just, they wanted, they didn't want to soak in and they just sort of sat on the top and made a mess. Okay, I have quite a mess on my desk. The only thing that's calling me that I wish was on here that isn't, and I guess I will put it on because it is calling me, is um, I just wasn't sure how I would fit it in, but then that's letting my head get in the way of what I feel called to put on here is my Nico needs some angel wings. So I'm gonna just put some lacy a lacy angel wing. Let's see if this one was from the other side. It'll have to go over the hand. It's not important to know what these intuitive pieces mean when they come out and uh, sometimes they're very mysterious and sometimes there's some obvious elements to them that you understand like obviously my angel dog Nico came out um, and then the Frida Kahlo influence from having her diary by my side while I painted um, the cat I don't know but oh I just really really had a strong feeling 
that I need to make this cat into a tiger. But I don't remember what the stripes look like on a tiger, so we're just gonna have to fake it. I don't really know how they go. I don't know if they go both up and down. But this definitely has to be a tiger for some reason. And just remember, this is coming from your imagination. Things don't have to look real. You don't have to sweat it. You know, if all of a sudden you want a tiger and you, you don't have to stop and Google a tiger to see what a Google, to see what a Google looks like, to see what a tiger looks like, just stay right with it. Stay right with the process and um, wing it. It's your imagination. It's funny how you keep seeing things and tweaking things. And I'm really glad I came up to the studio. It's interesting how nothing went the way that I thought it was going to, like I was planning on painting, not working with markers, and then the markers didn't work exactly the way I had hoped they would. I was mixing three different brands. I was mixing Montana with um, Liquitex and Posca markers and they all behave a little bit differently and they don't all play well together it seems but um you know i think if i had gotten my paint out i i would have gotten a different result this i feel like this was just the way it was supposed to be this is um it was it helped me to stay looser actually working with the pens because i was struggling to make them behave yeah so if you remember how it started it was just shapes looking for shapes in the palette cleanup and you know then turning those shapes into things you can do the same thing with cutouts of paper you can cut out paper and collage it all down and then turn those shapes into creatures or beings or whatever but i really like it the more i sit here and look at it through my camera the more pleased i am with it um it's a special painting and um I'm so glad I came up and pushed myself to come up because it would have been so easy to just sit down in my recliner and and decide that I couldn't um, couldn't get a painting done today. But I did, and I got my gratitude done today. So I am uh, back in the game. You know, I feel a little bit back in the game. We'll see what tomorrow brings. I got to show you my desk though with these markers. That's the after shot of my desk with all the markers out. And I had my I ended up dragging both trolleys over, but I only only used the markers. I didn't use any paint. So that was uh that was fun. There is my crazy wonky intuitive imaginative painting. Wow. I could just read so much meaning into this because I'm trying to heal and I'm about to see these doctors that are going to heal and this worm sort of could represent, the screaming worm with the crown on could represent a very strong, um, stealthy disease. You know, you tend to think of like a spirochete with Lyme or bacterial illnesses, but uh, this could represent the mast cell illness and this Oh, it should say something on his, what should it say on his banner? Hmm. Or should it say anything? I got to think about that for a minute. Because he's sort of conquering, he's come with this lion and they're sort of conquering what I'm imagining is disease. Now, I didn't think of any of this while I was painting it. It was all just sort of very bizarre as it was coming out. And, um, but now I'm looking at it and thinking of these things, this lion is tiger actually is coming out of the jungle kind of with this greenery going up um and my angel dog you know if this if this frida character represented me pointing upwards this is my angel dog nico oh you know what happened this was a hand she was holding him all right i'm gonna i have to put that back in she was actually holding him. I'm going to do that. That feels important to me, and I'll show it to you afterwards. So I just did a couple of last little touches. I did not come up with a word yet for the banner. Um, I sat and I thought about a lot of different words that would make sense and be meaningful, but they didn't feel, I didn't feel a strong intuitive pull to them. 
I'm just going to leave it at that. And um, if a word comes to me later on, I can always add it. But for now, I didn't want to push it because this whole painting stayed truly intuitive the whole way. And um, I don't want anything that doesn't come from that place deep within me to be in the painting. So I'm not going to push for the word on the banner. But that is my marker painting. And just as words of encouragement, guys, I really did not feel like I could do it. I, I felt horrible when I came up here today. And, you know, it doesn't even matter that I came up to the studio if I had been stuck in the recliner and not even been able to come up the stairs. I still could have done something, some kind of drawing, some kind of mark making. It wouldn't have to have been this elaborate. Um, but I, like I said, I find that once I enter the creative process, if I can get myself into the zone, into like an intuitive zone, that it gives me energy to carry through. Um, and I usually end up with some sort of visual results, but even on abstract paintings, um, I get energy from the process. Jumping back on here, because as soon as I ended the video, closed out the video, the word came to me and it was courage. Here comes this sort of guy dressed like a Robin Hood with this tiger and uh yeah courage for the battle courage for the battle yep that's that's the title of that one courage for the battle wow love it guys i really really had a good session this time so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did um please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and why don't we use tigers as the secret word so type tigers into the comments below the video if you're still watching okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video take care have a great week i hope that you are able to dip into your creativity on a very regular basis and i will hopefully see you next week if not um, it will be the week after take care bye bye